What is the crack lads and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Roma Legends that they have released with V1.1.4 on the 21st of July this Thursday. So if you guys are watching this, hopefully it'll help you out whether you're going to spin or skip. I will leave my rate until the end, but yeah, spoiler alert, I don't think that, you know, these are going to really change your squad too much, but we'll get into it and we'll show you a couple of details with these players, because Badis Juda is quite a decent guy, uh, he's a decent, decent player, as you can see here, um, you know, he's got some very nice stats, and we'll have a look on over on eFootballDB in a second as to what he can train into, but he has got some really nice stats, he's got the unwavering form, and the B rating is obviously going to make a huge difference as well, kick and power 86 his finishing 85 his balance does let him down again uh, as with all these kind of like fox in the box style strikers the balance is a big issue i think that they've tried to to balance out um next up we have got aldier who is a center back his 10 levels lads don't really do it for him i think if he had like 16 levels this guy could actually be one of the best center backs when fully maxed but the fact that he's only got 10 levels to go um is is a bit of a disappointment even though he does have a couple of nice player skills he's one of the the worst legends i think in the game but we'll get over into it in a minute and then we have nakata who I think is a bit of a kind of a, a dark horse with this uh, legend pack because he is one of the guys that is under the radar. I think he's got he's a really good player. I have him uh, with my club and he's an absolute beast. I mean, he was one of the best players. He is only standard form, which lets his card down a bit, but he's got really nice player skills. He's also got a really nice ability to get forward with the ball, um, even more so than his stats kind of like say and he's got that 83 balance as well he's kind of like a more robust version of Iniesta without the the sick dribbling that's the way his kind of player ID works and his player offensive awareness works but we are actually going to head over to eFootballDB.com and we're going to take a look at the legends so starting with Batis Judah we're going to do a comparison between Batis Judah and we're going to show you Benzema who are very kind of similar players right so Batis Judah has 10 levels to go which gives you 18 progression points it's not really really going to do much for you because by the time we've given him you know possession game like one or two or three or whatever um or if we stick to long ball which a lot of people aren't playing if we go to 90 and long ball gives us 16 points i think we're just going to like really just kind of throw it into his shooting maybe give him five into shooting to bring it up to 90 finishing and then we're going to just throw it into dexterity i think to bring up his offensive awareness and to bring up his aerial strength a little bit to header and then obviously just throw one or two in for the speed and throw one in there into dexterity to bring it up to 79 acceleration 80 speed 91 offensive awareness 90 finishing 89 kick and power um he's a 94 overall player with this maxed out rating and listen let's bad shooter is a beast but I think that if you're looking at the likes of Benzema, right, if we max out even the standard Benzema, who's 500,000 GP, which is a lot of money, but just to give you an example of a type of player like him, right? So the one key thing that we need to look at here is getting up is uh, Benzema's, um, obviously we put his possession game up to 94, and then we're just going to concentrate on his dexterity. So if we put that to 79, and we put his lower body to 80, the same as Badis Shooters, we're going to have that tied up, and then obviously we're going to plow this into shooting. Badis Shooter does kind of outperform him in a lot of the, the key statistics that you would, you know, you would want. Speed and acceleration, they're both the same, but then Badis Shooter has got, you know, better offensive awareness. He's got five better finishing uh in his stat in that he's got three in header that's better his kicking power is more powerful his jump is better um his passing is worse and his ball control and dribbling is worse like benzma is a player that you could buy and have very similarly to um to the main man here that is bad student now if we take one away from here to give us three points back for the lower body and we just pump, pump that in to shooting we're going to get one more point into shooting and then we're going to get one more into dribbling which brings us into kind of a little slightly better card i would say um there that you've got a little bit more about you when you are a center forward if you want to have an all-rounder so next up we have got nakata i think he's probably my biggest recommendation if you do get him uh don't discard him straight away and don't kind of think yeah he's not going to make your squad because he's actually quite decent lads he is actually quite decent um his speed and dexterity for a cmf don't really need to be touched you can upgrade it a small little bit i think you know 78 and 80 is is is, is decent enough <clears throat> excuse me he's also got possession game that we give two points into that and then obviously as well 
we just want to turn him into kind of like a pass machine we can bring that up to 87 quite easily and then the dribbling we can bring that up as well to whatever we can bring it up to and then throw one or two into defense as well he's not really going to be a defender um but as an attacking midfielder we could either put him as you know we could put those three as defense and bring up his aggression or else we could actually just stick to what we know best and put it into dribbling and passing and dexterity and i think that he is a nice a decent attacking midfielder as i said he's not as good as iniesta or someone like that that you could buy for under 100k or around that but uh, i still think he's worth a punt if you do get him now aldier is probably the weakest legend of the bunch by a good bit he has 10 levels which only bring him to 18 points and again once we throw it into his possession game which we need to put in at least two we only have 16 progression points left which is very disappointing i think if aldier had 18 points or 18 levels and maybe 26 progression points he could turn into quite a beast lads because once you have given his dexterity up to 75 and 75 speed which is at normal you're going to want to throw it into defending right and he can get he can go to 90 tackling and then you can put his aerial strength up you can go to physical contact and stuff um you know but it's not going to be in my opinion good enough at this level to be able to have a player like that that is going to be leading the back line for you there's just too many players out there that are just so much better than him um defensively for similar prices or whatever like if you take kunde uh from the sevilla 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 uh sevilla he's going to like be a very similar building so they're kind of similar heights or similar play styles or similar styles um as you can see here to bring up his his speed to 75 and 75 is going to be quite easy and then we've got a lot of points left we've 43 points left that we can literally just pump in here bring up his header uh to about 80 and then bring up his defending as best as we possibly can as well you can bring that up to maybe 11 or 12 points and we're going to have a really really good defender on our hands here and we also even even get one for dribbling uh which brings up our ball control to 70 and kunde is one of those players that if you max him out he turns into a monster you know you've got 75 speed 75 acceleration 70 low pass 70 ball control which is insane for a cb and then you've got 92 jump 90 defensive engagement 90 tackling i would either probably get rid of the jump a little bit i would probably bring that down to 90 and then i would probably throw uh one more into defending to bring up all his stats there above 90 defensive awareness and everything to 90 and above and then i would probably put one into dexterity as well uh to give that acceleration boost so yeah to me i would say you know you're probably going to end up skipping this one unless you really want bad shoot or something um but that is it for me lads i'll be back quite soon hope you enjoyed this review short and sweet let me know if you're going to skip or spin and I will talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see me do anything else. And check out my Haaland review as well, which should be dropping today. Peace.